News of the Week is brought to you by the Virtual Pinball Weekly Challenge. We are a group on Facebook of like-minded individuals that love to play some pinball. We play three tables a week, one being a weekly league table, another being a midweek throwback, and the Weekend Warriors Challenge. So if you're like me and you want to play some pinball with some awesome people, make sure you check us out on Facebook. What's up everyone, I'm GG Pinball, your host for the Virtual Pinball News of the Week. Let's get started. Friendly PSA from your Virtual Pinball Guy. Let's discuss what is going on with our friends down under. When you get bit by the Virtual Pinball bug, it's a hole, it's a rabbit hole of what you are going to look up and go find, you know, you're finding videos. If you're watching my video, obviously you like virtual pinball. You found me somehow through that. So you start really getting into this hobby and you're looking up things. At one point or another, you probably ran into the site Retro Play. This is a site from Australia of a, a table builder. Nice looking videos, like pretty good quality on uh, YouTube that this is a buyer beware. We're gonna discuss this real quick. So recently, Retroplay has gone into liquidation. Now, uh, to kind of sum this up, they're basically bankrupt. When a company goes into liquidation, they are supposed to cease sales and transactions and all of that stuff. This dude did not and just kept on taking money and orders and money and orders. And if you take a look at this site, I mean, they're not cheap. These are not cheap orders. I mean, I think the cheapest uh, virtual pinball table they had on his site was in like the four thousand dollar range like that's a lot of frigging cash that's scumbag move number one but number two and this is my psa part do not trust vendors that are selling the full package and now when i say the full package listen if you think you found somebody that can do the woodworking and all that stuff because not everyone is handy with tools i get it i get that stuff fine but listen if you're getting into this hobby, I hate to break it to you. You need to learn some stuff. There's no such thing as like a total turnkey unless you're gonna pay like that $9,000 for that friggin' crazy ass ginormous FX table that came out, all right? Which only plays FX tables. If you're getting the virtual pinball and you're getting into something like VPX or future pinball, you need to learn something. I understand people don't wanna learn it, but you have to, you have to. I understand if you don't have the building and you want somebody to build it, cool. But you need to learn settings and stuff on your table. There's plenty of videos out there and plenty of resources to learn. It really isn't super hard. There's ways of making it easier to maintain tables. You need to learn this stuff. Never trust any kind of vendor who one of their selling features is all these tables included, or they're selling you a hard drive of that stuff. You know, I've talked about people like this before on the show. VP douchebag, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> yeah, who won that one? The authors of these tables, the creators of all of these tables, like they specifically have their work out there for free, but they also have the option of where it goes. When you have people that are selling their tables, not giving any credit where credit is due, that's a big no-no. Retroplay had a feature that they were adding on their uh, virtual pinball store, like, okay, you know, I get something like Zen doing theirs because Zen is a legit company who's paid for the rights to do that and they've designed their own tables. They're not taking someone else's tables and putting it on there and charging to install it so you don't have to deal with these blah, 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 blah. They're not doing that crap, right? Like they are straight up just taking other people's work and then charging for it. You know what else isn't cool? Stealing my favorite table and putting it in your ad. How dare you steal the Hogbreak Slayer table, you Scum. Honestly, Retroplay, kind of glad you're in liquidation, and honestly, hope you disappear off the face of the earth. This is a warning to people coming into here. Don't trust shady shit people like that. Let's jump over to another show talking about virtual pinball news. Zen put out their monthly pinball show, the pinball show, dun, 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 dun. the pinball show. I actually enjoy watching the pinball show. It's not bad. I like the song. Rose is kind of hot too. And Aquashim is the man. So Zen's come out today and announced three new tables coming out to the pinball FX format. Um, these are all tables that are based off of video games. You got tables based off of Homeworld, Brother at Arms, and Borderlands. 
Borderlands is definitely going to be my favorite of the tables because the Borderlands series is an awesome series and I can't wait to see the pinball stuff. Watching the little that they have shown on theirs, uh, you see like Claptrap running around and talking lines and stuff and that is pretty cool. If you are a ZFX person, make sure you're watching out for those tables coming soon. Okay, let's start with our new tables out this week. 1978, Tatio de Brazil, Saloon. That's right, JP Salas coming out with another of those Tatio tables from Brazil. From what I saw, JP has been trying to do the entire collection and it looks like Saloon has finished said collection. Awesome work, JP, that is friggin' awesome. This has got a pretty cool theme going too. It's got that Western-ish theme like that. Like, you know, that old school Western theme. I like it, looks pretty cool. JP did make a comment about the ROM being missing. I mean, I'm actually surprised that there would have been a ROM because it looks pretty EM-ish to me, but you know. Next up, we got a Bally 1973 Nip It. This is from Mustang 1961. Uh, another one of those loser man tables that he worked on. I think Hot Freaks helped him with it too. Pretty cool theme going on here. Uh, if you were a former Floridian like myself, this hits home. You got the alligators over here jumping and stuff. Pretty cool. Side note, I featured this and a few other tables on my new Instagram account. That's right, you can get GG Pinball on your Instagram. I try to upload something daily, you know, whether it's something little personal, like I did, I showed a part inside my cabinet, you know, or I'm doing a back glass and I'm talking about, you know, stuff that's coming up in the week. So if you kind of want a sneak peek of what's coming up in your virtual pinball, make sure you follow GG Pinball on Instagram. Next up, we got the Williams 1976 Rancho. This is another EM with a Western theme to it. I don't that's, I guess that's the kick this week. Western EM themes. Again, pretty cool table. Author of this table is Clodo81. I think this is the first table I'm showing on the show of theirs. Again, you can find this and all the tables I talk about in the links down below. Make sure you're trying these tables out and if you like it, make sure you give a like to that author, you know? Next up, we got Williams1984 Laser Cube by the one, the only, Uncle Pauly. Uncle Polly is a savage when it comes to some of these tables that he makes. They are always beautiful and they are always VR ready for all of our VR people out there. This is one of those earlier 80s Williams tables that plays similar to Black Knight. If you are a fan of those easier rule sets that are easy to understand but hard to master, this is definitely a table for you to check out and it's getting my table of the week. What are you laughing at? The little one's laughing. Did I ever tell you guys that I built the little one a table too? Let me show you. Table. Yeah, it's the little one. It's next to my big one. Yeah, it's for the little guy. <laughs> Who's up for a little bit of Gottlieb? 1992's Operation Thunder. This is the Rascal version. Rascal, I think, originally put out the VP9 version of this, and now we have a newer version. Quick note of warning. I have seen in his notes that this was made with the beta version of VPX, so the 10.8 version. I'm assuming it should run on the standard 10.72, but if you're having issues, this might be something you want to be aware of. Last table we're gonna go over for the week. Mustang 1961 puts out another one. This one's a cool one. This is a Bally 1979 called Paragon. I am lucky enough to have one of these down the street at my local Pincade. This is a cool table because it's ginormous. It's huge. Like it is not your normal pinball table. It's like two pinball tables in one. Baby got back on that thing. So it looks like he's done a pretty good job here recreating it. I almost want to play it like in regular mode on here because of how wide it is. If this was just, yeah. Anyway, big table to play. Definitely go check that one out. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. If you like what you saw, make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me now on Instagram. If you got questions or anything like that, make sure you're hitting me up at the email ggpinball at gmail.com. I'm GG Pinball, and this has been your virtual pinball news of the week. Later, flippers! News of the week.